so good evening guys it's a 5 46 pm today is august 24 2023 it's a thursday and we had a reversal day you know? so yesterday we had a 10 day up today we have a 10 day down right possible it was a possibility you no know? one of the possibilities that we thought through it so you now you can see my notes right and by reading the notes you will know you will have the idea that I am also thinking for that downside possibility along with the upside you know so and and then also we talked about it in discord fact versus assumption scenario you know so I'll explain you later on you know so today is going to be a tricky day due to the way price is key resistance see that so that's why it's tricky because if it gets reaction from key resistance we have no clue whether that reaction is strong or weak after price moves certain points then we know it's a real and now price is going to go down more you know so see how i wrote the notes but we are going to go with the whatever happened so far and not based off what will happen today see that fact assumption fact is yesterday we had a 10 day up right so obviously buyers are going to be active that's the fact assumption is what will happen if price coming down from here right it can tank it can only provide a reaction but that is all assumption until price does that and we trade based off fact not assumption okay now we will give first preference to buyers about this area okay because it's a fact at the same time we have to recognize the fact that price can come down from the key resistance and may not respect one or two support on the way down but let's say hold the third support see our goal is to get one long wait evaluate and then take it right so get one long but wait evaluate then take it why this step today because if it is coming down from the key resistance, right, you have to wait for some kind of scenarios to go long. Otherwise, you step aside and watch, you know, and then bail out at the key resistance and they evaluate again, right. So, if you are allowed to take short at key R, but only if you are very experienced in reading micro levels, otherwise, you are better off sticking with longs. See that? If by chance, see, now here is the note. If by chance price goes through the backup buyers area or preferred buyers area in the morning like a piece of cake, then down day also possible. Now you go back and check today's day, how it happened, how price was coming down, how it sliced through this area like a piece of cake. That was the signature that trend down day is is happening see clearly I can see the future here right how I want to see it if buyers are not active how sellers are going to be active this will tell you exactly the note you know then technically below 15500 for now this is the same old statement you know I just carry it forward right See, very good notes today, definitely. I'm going to share it in Twitter also. So, but now, so let me put this on the side, right? Piece of cake, I said, right? Preferred bias area. Backup buyer area. Does it look like piece of cake? Well, it's very tiny reaction and boom. Aggressive bias slice through it right of the open, right? Three color lines. All these color lines are very powerful. I knew that this is a resistance. That's that was the key resistance, and this, you know, slice through it. Prefer back prefer bias area is just slice through it, right? Like a piece of cake. Backup bias area same thing, right? So I did not take long, sorry, short. Even though it was doing this, I did not touch short longs i took it in between here right but my stops were two points three points max at very key levels 
and I got profit also here right but I choose not to take it idea was favor longs because that's the fact from yesterday and hold it for more points you know not like worry about three point stop so I got stopped out two times you know I took a loss three times actually all two point three point stop I got stopped out fine I lost 10 points right but in that process I was figuring out that really sellers are active this was a signature then but I still take it because it was a go backup bias area then when it sliced through it that's where I knew now sellers are active and it's going to be trend down day then I waited till 10.30 then I waited price to go through 10.30 low first hour low basically right then price pull back here that's where I took a shot and I put it in discord also that first hour low is very important and I put it before I take took the trade then I knew where it's going yeah, so I have a three full levels in mind 960 was my one first level that's where I took the profit 965 actually second level was 850 third level was 750 so and my short was 15063 my short in ES was first double low 37.5 same time so even though I did not get to involve but here I I got so many points no so and I build out at this 14 area when ES hit 14 and Q was hitting 965 that's it from here onwards you know somebody also asked question in discord can I go long can I go long I said no no longs even they asked the question here can I go long I said no no longs here I said as long as it is holding below first hour logo today not every day okay you cannot go long you know simple the sellers will be active so look for short so any up move will be resisted by sellers so let's say price came down came up from here right you will expect sellers here if it doesn't hold fine you expect sellers here doesn't hold fine you expect sellers here you know so you have to watch it that where is sellers are stepping in you know from where right so for example let's say now price is going higher right so you are watching it and you are seeing it here right very tiny reaction you know looks like you know sellers are not active here then it went here fine it got a response but they are now holding this as a support right this area so no long no short right then it slides through the damn thing right at this point you are thinking man now it's a reversal because it's a noon time right see now you are thinking it's a 12 o'clock reversal so noon time reversal price may go higher fine let it go here above this then buyers are active right so then it went to this area 37 right then here it got rejection correct again it went up again got rejection fine and this area was acting as a support right so which is this then what happened here again it tried to buy it slice through it that's your sign you short right there now you look for a new low of the day see here see here right so now hold on so 110 let's see if there is a divergence okay because i was not watching this price action that's why i have to look you know i was not trading anyway so this is after the fact right i'm showing you so hmm see now that's why i was i was looking at it like there got to be something that gives us this trade you know so Thirteen twelve, fourteen twelve, right? Time step. Thirteen twelve, fourteen twelve. Divergence. NQ is making similar highs. See here, 
but this thing is way lower actually right and it is touching the same level here correct now at that time you look at this see momentum trend down you already know that it held first of a low now it wants to expand lower right here now you look at the ad also here here ad was also weak right all down right now this was a better pullback than this you know because price had a time to do all this balancing correct then it went up in one candle straight up right while es is still diverging right and then immediately reaction see at this point i was thinking if i was there in real time right ideally see here it failed correct then it came down here it couldn't even go above it right that's the first sign then second candle is just came down straight so kind of a mini fail breakout of this area right then it came down right see at this point if you're not selling here this was your chance right there you know? and that's it you know and then you go lower but you know on a trend down day now you are shorting at like 225 right so yes price is going to close lower but it may say this is a like two to three o'clock it may do like this so you have to hold it you know otherwise it's tough to trade even because because of this move some buyers will be active that was the whole idea so these shorts come at a risk because now you can see there are a lot of buyers here see even here also it's hard to justify and hold the trade not justify but it's hard to hold the trade you know and then you can see it here still doing this right so there is no long here but it's hard to hold the short then after 3 30 you know then it tanked but then it's too late you know because those after hours moves are very risky so technically you know the trading is was even though there was trade right there were trades your trading ends here right here you know, that's it where i took the profit you call it a day off that's it see if you are smart enough right so think about it price came from here to here right now you don't want to mess around you know you take profit now no more shorts no more long you have to call it a day off that's it you know same thing for yes you know so and that's how it is so the key key thing today is you need to understand you know what is going on why price may behave like this today because the notes were clearly written that way you know that it may go down or it may go up you don't know and so you have to wait see i didn't short it here i even take longs here right but no shorts i waited so i sacrificed few points like 2.3 point right but in that process i was learning and evaluating like what's going on you know really sellers are active then all i need to know is okay can it break through break up by area and before by area yes i said 47 that is the key and then 39 i said if it breaks through both of them i know sellers are active the, the, the moment it did i was in you know because then i know see most of the people are afraid to take a shot even at the tail end right i don't do that all the time but on some day like this day is just a beginning this is just a beginning first hour price has another six hours so i have a plenty of time on my side and for the price also to move so that's why i waited and then i caught this rally you know halfway through and that is what you should do you know? so that be all for today now tomorrow right tomorrow i know see even yesterday if you look at it see even yesterday's right so today was a perfect day even not only pre-market notes were, were good even yesterday in the end of the video i gave you these two areas this and this as a potential globex high or globex low right and look this is this become globex high right and then if you look at it here this area to the t became globex low so at least by looking at this i knew that if bias was so strong it should have gone through it since it's not going through it somebody is here and since it's holding here i know these buyers are also active then this happened right then i waited for a confirmation then i shot it now look nq also you want to see it look what did i put as a note you will see it 
I highlighted it with a bold letter. Almost see that. Basically, this entire 440, 550, a good resistance deserves a response. That is your response. And I didn't say that after seeing this. I said I said that when I published the note at six o'clock this morning. You know. So now you can see it. And that's pretty much it for today. You know. Uh, now here, see above backup buyers area, all levels are buyers level, and they can define any level. Now you understand why I did not take a shot here, even though I knew that price went through piece of size of cake or whatever piece of cake, right? I waited, waited, waited. Then I took the shot right here. See, so I waited for a confirmation as per the notes. Simple, you know. So that be all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.